Hey guys, I'm so excited. Canva dropped something called Dream Lab and you should be excited too, especially if you are a self-publishing author, if you like creating book designs or you want to create digital products, this will be amazing. Let's explore this together. We are on Canva and right here where it says new features in Droptober, it says unleash your imagination and your best work with our latest launches. There's There are many different launches, but the one that I want to focus on today is this one right here. It says try Dream Lab. Create photorealistic images, illustrations, storyboards, and 3D renders in high fidelity. And one of the reasons why I'm super excited is because I was reading an article and it says that this Dream Lab is it's powered by an AI called Leonardo AI. And this is a platform that uses machine learning to create images, videos, and 3D models. I have used it before, not the paid version, the free version, but I fell in love with it. And now guess what? Now we can dabble in it and explore through Canva, Canva's Dream Lab. All right, guys, let's dive in. Let's go ahead and click on try Dream Lab. Once I click on it, it's going to show exactly what I have searched for before because I was playing around with it to see what comes up and what happens. Now I'm going to go ahead and give it a prompt and let's see what this Dream Lab AI generates for us. Let's explore. Create an image of a girl lost in the woods wearing a blue shirt and pink shorts make the background in the woods with a gloomy feel all right let's see let's just give it a try let's see what happens okay okay wow this is quite remarkable let me go ahead and click on this one right here and see what happens Oh my goodness, let me go ahead. It is so detailed. This is 10 times better than when I was using magic, uh, the magic media. This is a beautiful image. I could totally see this as a page within a book. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back and let's say, I'm gonna click on smart and see what that is. Cinematic concept, creative, smart. Okay, oh, I see what this is. Bokeh, I don't know, I don't even know if that's how you say it. Macro illustration, 3D render, cinematic fashion, minimalistic, minimalist, moody portrait, sketch. Ooh, you can even turn it into a sketch. Stock photo, ray trace. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and click on one of these and see what happens. I'm gonna click on cinematic concept. Let's see. I guess that is the style. Let me go ahead. Now that I have the cinematic concept option, I'm going to go ahead and click on create once again and see if there is a difference in the image. Oh, I see. Lots of people are using Dream Lab right now. Please try again in a few minutes. Okay. I guess a lot of people are using it. Let me click on this. Okay. It looks a little creepy. I have to admit. Okay. Let me see this one. Oh, wow. That looks so beautiful. Beautiful image. Now, let me go ahead and click on here where it says one, the one, one ratio. And here we have it. So if you want to go ahead and maybe uh, change the like the di dimensions of the actual image, you can. Let me go ahead and click on six by nine. So I guess that before you even type in in the search bar what you're trying to design go ahead and select the style and the ratio of the image i'm going to go ahead and click on create and see what happens with this uh create an image of a girl lost in the woods wearing a blue shirt and pink shorts uh make the background in the woods with a gloomy feel cinematic concept and it's a six by nine let's see what happens here okay i see cinematic i love it let me see this one. Ooh, I absolutely love this i'm definitely gonna have some fun tonight now i wanted to go ahead and before we continue using this because i get a lot of these types of comments they're like okay but what about you know what's gonna happen if we want to use it for you know amazon kdp or to self-publish you know commercial use let's tackle that 
let's go ahead and go to the generate images with dream lab help center so it says okay dream lab is here to help you create stunning ai generated images effortlessly whether you want to copy download or use them in your designs the process is simple and fun canva free users have 20 lifetime dream lab uses okay guys so i would highly recommend for you to do the pro um sign up for the pro account that way you have more access to using this and playing around with it a little bit more with canva pro teams nonprofits or canva for education admin and teachers you have up to 500 dream lab uses this limit is for each member and refreshes every first of the month okay so you have 500 um, and it refreshes every first of the month this feature isn't available to everyone just yet but we're working on getting it to the whole community. Keep an eye out for updates. It'll be available to you soon. All right. Styles and sizes to choose from in the Dream Lab. So this is what we were doing. Dream Lab allows you to choose from a wide range of styles when generating images. The images created will be created in JPG file format. That is very good to know. Dream Lab provides presets such as, which is what we went through. The presets are cinematic concept, creative dynamic, bokeh, macro, I think that's how you say that, <laughs> illustration, 3D, render, and so on and so forth. Uh, what are the limitations of Dream Lab? This one is important. Dream Lab supports all languages available on Canva except for users in Canva CN. There's a maximum of four image output per use. Now the third one, it only takes instruction from the description you entered or used in the document. The more context and instruction you give, the better your result. Of course, if you're under 13, you won't be able to access Dream Lab. This restriction is in place to ensure your safety and privacy while using Canva. You can only access Dream Lab from Canva, the Canva homepage. It's, it's not available directly in the editor, so you'll need to go back to the homepage to use it. Now, this is extremely important. Can I use Dream Lab for commercial use? There's no easy answer to this since the treatment of AI generated works under copyright law varies country by country. Between you and Canva, you own the images and videos you create with Dream Lab. I'm gonna say that again, and I'm gonna read it. Between you and Canva, you own the images and videos you create with Dream Lab, blah, 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 with Dream Lab, which are subject to you following our terms. However, whether AI generated images are copyrightable depend on the jurisdiction under our terms. You give us the right to host the images you generated on our platform so we can provide you with the service. It says, similarly, if you use these apps to create recognizable characters or brands, these may be protected by copyright or trademarks. In other words, you cannot use, uh, let's say, a logo that does not belong to you. Create something completely unique. In other words, Create something that nobody else has created. Make it as unique as possible, as authentic to your brand and what you're doing, right? If you plan to use these images, please get permission from the rights owner. We can give you this permission. They're referring to when you're trying to use like, like let's say a Disney, uh, like big brands or just brands in as a whole. You have to go, you know, you have to reach out to them and see, you know, what uh, if they give you permission to use them. But so just... Create your own stuff, guys, please. If you want to use the Dream Lab to create a book cover, right? Let's say, for example, we want to use this floral background for a, uh, a book cover, right? As you saw, as I read, you can only access Dream Lab from the home page. What I would recommend for you to do, and you cannot, um, let's say, for example, if you're doing a specific customized template for like an 8.5 by 11, this is what I would do. First, let's say I want to use this image. I would go ahead and download it onto my computer. Then I would head on over to the home page. Now that we're on the home page, I would click on create a design. Once I'm there, I'm going to go all the way down to where it says custom size. I'm going to click on that. Here you have 8.5 by 11 inches. I'm going to click on that option. 
Now what I'm going to do, I already downloaded that floral background to my computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to upload it so that I can slap it onto this template. We, we do that by clicking upload and we upload the file. And here you have it. So what I would do is now I would just go ahead and expand it, make sure it fills up the entire page, right? Now, now it's where we get fancy. Now it's where we start making this our own. We can go ahead and use some type of frame. Uh, let's see. I don't know. You can get creative here. And then we could do something like this. Okay. Let's add some text. So we can do something like prayer journal yeah let me do prayer journal okay okay uh let's use alice and then we can add an effect and you get the point let's go ahead and do this we can expand it and then we can continue to add more things to this background to make this pop let's see make it bold something like this guys you get the point so that's actually pretty cute i would definitely change it but i'm doing this in real time so i kind of have to uh work with me here work with me here guys so this is pretty much it that's what i would do now i'm going to go ahead and add a page because i want to use that other image that it came up with a cinematic one so i already had uploaded on here so let me go ahead and use it by clicking uploads and we have that here. Not all that's left is for me to fill up the page. And then I have a page. We can add some text. There was a girl lost in the woods. Let's see. And then we could add some text onto this page. And yeah, man, there's so many things we can do here. I'm super excited. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited that this feature is now available. Um, definitely something worth using, guys. So, all right. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and use Dream Lab again because I want to see if it can come up with coloring pages. So, create a coloring page for with let's say i don't want to say flowers again but let's use flowers i guess coloring page with flowers that can be colored in or i'll let you know what i have an idea i'm gonna go ahead and click on create and see if this can actually create coloring pages oh Wait a second, guys, this is cool. All right, so now we know that this can create a coloring page. Very interesting. Now let's see if it can create mandala. Let's see. A mandala coloring page. All right. I'm going to go ahead and click on create, which I did. And let's see what comes up. Oh, okay. But you see, create a mandala coloring page, but I have to put that can be colored in. Or maybe I should say white, black and white. Nah, that could be colored in. That's, that's, those are the key words. Colored in. Oh, we can. That's awesome. Now I'm going to go ahead and ask for it to create, design a book cover with a background of a park and children playing. It's about learning social skills. It's a, wait. It's a, 
Ah! It's a children's activity book to develop social skills. Let's see what happens with this prompt. Ooh! No way! Guys, are you seeing this? Okay, you see, but there are little flaws here. First, toys, time, activity. Oh my gosh, but this is absolutely... I love this. Guys, are you seeing this? This is amazing. And maybe we can work on maybe editing some of this stuff out. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, and get started designing your books, your pages, your digital products. Start playing around with backgrounds and different prompts that you can use to create your designs. I hope this was helpful. God bless. I'll see you in the next video.